Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another Plan Miss video. Today I'm sharing a plan with me using this B6 Planning World kit in my brand new B6 Print Pression Planner with a vertical layout. This is really exciting. I actually just ran out of inserts in my A6, so I decided to try this planner out and I'm loving it so far. So it is a vertical layout. I believe there's a year in the planner. There's also a set of monthlies in the front, which I haven't played around with yet, but I hope to sometime in the future. So the first thing I'm doing here is putting down some date dots. These are from Sesave from a long time ago, and I thought I wanted to pull in some more black into the spread, so I used those. And I'm putting the date covers down. I like this for a plan ahead planner because the weekend is on one column, and I actually don't normally plan out my weekends really extensively, so that's perfect for me. I don't need a lot of room. I also debated whether or not I should actually just turn that weekend section into a sidebar because that's one thing I found was missing in this planner and you will see my solution for that shortly. But that's something I'm definitely considering because like I said, I really don't plan out my weekends unless there's some concrete plans that I really don't want to forget. Anyway, on Monday, I wanted to go to Pete's to grab my birthday drink and their chai latte is actually really good. I got a dirty chai and I actually wanna go back and get some more, so highly recommend. Then I wanted to stop by the PO to check my mail and just see if I got any packages, which this was in there, so that was really exciting. I did plan this on Monday, or start planning on Monday. By the way, for my plan ahead plan with me's, I usually plan the morning of the day, so I planned on for this one, I think it was like Monday afternoon, but I generally like to plan first thing in the morning before I start my tasks for the day. I also put down a checklist and a full box for some things I wanted to get done and these workout labels, which you can't see right now, but you will be able to see shortly. They're from Little Miss Papery. So right now I realized that I really needed a sidebar. I find a sidebar is really functional for me for planning ahead to jot down any packages I'm expecting, any habits that I'm tracking, and any kind of miscellaneous tasks that don't have to be done on a par particular excuse me, day, but I want to get done throughout the week. So right now I'm using this translucent sticky note that I got from Amazon. They are quite pricey actually, I think, but I really like the, it's like a vellum kind of feeling. and. You do have to use a permanent marker on it, but I like that I can see my plans through it. Even though once you start writing on it, you can't really see through it, but I like seeing the shimmer of the foil and the colors underneath. Anyway, so on the right here, I'm putting a list for all of my packages. I did do some shopping for Black Friday weekend. I also put down a habit tracker and another checklist for some miscellaneous tasks that I had to get done. I'm super excited about my Glossier orders, by the way. I treated myself to Glossier for my birthday because they have like a once a year sale on Black Friday weekend. And I'm so excited because you know what? I'm a sucker. Glossier branding is exactly on point for my kind of makeup and skincare ideal. So, well, really makeup. Their skincare, I didn't get too many products from. I'm really excited. I'll keep you guys updated if you're curious. Anyway, on Tuesday, I put down this laptop from Scribble Prints Co. because I had to work on emails and prep for my call in the morning. And this paper clip, or these two paper clips I used on Monday and Tuesday are also from Scribble Prints Co. She had like this pink multicolor sheet that was so perfect. I love the pastel holiday colors for this week. Then I wanted to stop by Trader Joe's to grab some groceries, so I used this deco from the kit along with the Trader Joe's lettering sticker from C. Amy Draw. Then I'm using this half box with some Cheers beer stickers from Paper and Milk to mark that my sister made reservations at this new sushi restaurant that opened up near us, and they are, I believe, the first sustainable sushi restaurant, which is so exciting. So we went to go try it out and it was really delicious. So I'm looking forward to eating there more often. I also put down a workout sticker because I wanted to go to the gym afterwards and I left it blank because I didn't know what workout I wanted to do, but obviously after that happy hour, I didn't end up going. I ended up getting boba guys instead, go figure. And at the end of the night, I put down a little checklist of some things I wanted to finish up before I went to bed. 
So right now I'm just checking some things off as the week progresses. I wasn't going to do this initially, but I find that I really need to do it to see like what tasks I got done, what tasks I need to put down on future days. So anyway, on Wednesday I put down a full box first and then I went up to the top to put down this laptop again from SPC to mark that I wanted to send out job apps. And then I put down a glitter header, or sorry, a foil header that came with the kit with some deco and a coffee, well, the deco was a coffee cup because honestly, I didn't know what else to mark, but I did know that I was gonna have coffee that day. Then I ended up having a job interview in the afternoon, so I'm using some job interview stickers from Happy Daya over a quarter box. At night, I went to the gym because I wanted to spin. I didn't end up going to my usual Tuesday spin class, and I find that spin has been really great for me lately because I've been particularly anxious these past few weeks, and I find that spinning allows me to stop thinking about certain things and also like it's really tiring like all I can focus on are how much my legs are burning or like my heart feels like it's about to burst and then at the end I'm like super tired and kind of zenned out so it's it's a great exercise for me currently even though I don't know that it's completely the right coping mechanism for anxiety I'm obviously not a professional but I enjoy feeling tired and exhausted afterwards and like I got a good workout in, of course. On Thursday, I actually ended up not feeling well. Like I woke up pretty sick. So I put down a sick day, like white flag berry from Grin and Barrett. And unfortunately, I still had to finish up some things. So first I had to do some maintenance work for my one of the professional certifications that I had that was due soon. So I used the laptop to mark that and then I had a call at in sorry I had a call in the afternoon for a position that I'm starting next week which is really exciting by the time you're watching this I will have already started so yeah I just uh, the process went really quickly and I'm just thrilled to be working and learning and it feels like things even though they still feel a little uncertain are finally coming together for this next season of life and I'm starting to achieve the goals that I had set out to achieve this year and just in the nick of time before the end of the year. So that's really exciting. So that evening, I was feeling really sick all day. Like I've never taken migraine medicine ever. For the first time in my life, I took migraine medication. So that's how bad it was. Basically all day when I could, I was like lying down and resting in the dark. I couldn't find my headache munchkins from Once More With Love, so I decided to use this steamy from Wonton in a Million instead. So moving on to Friday, I put down this hexagon to mark the outstanding task that I had to get done, and then I put down a full box. In the afternoon, I wanted to do some restorative yoga. thought it was completely necessary after just not feeling well and being so... Like, I don't know, the weather's not been helping with my mental well-being, so I thought I really just need to do a yoga session practice in my own capacity, like not in a class setting, and that was so helpful. And then afterwards, I put down a little checklist of some places to go to before I went home. And I only had three, so I ended up cutting that last bow off. By the way, the pen that I'm using this week is from... Pen gems with my usual Pilot High Tech C refill. Then in the evening, I put down another foiled header and put down an edit sticker. Or sorry, this film slate is from Wonderful Designs. It's really old. I forgot I had it until I did my declutter. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to use this more often because it's so cute. And then at night, I definitely wanted to relax and just take some time to really take care of myself, especially my mental health is past couple weeks have been questionable, so definitely wanted to kind of go internally and see what's going on. So I put down a looked after myself self-care sticker from Once More With Love. All right, on the weekend, I didn't have too many plans. I ended up planning Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Friday morning. So all I had was that I knew for sure was a holiday party for work 
which was kind of nerve-wracking because I haven't actually really met too many people yet, so, like, I was a little bit nerve. I was very nervous, actually, and, but anyway, I'm using a Maru wine glass to mark that, and then I put down another full box for Sunday because I didn't have any plans laid out yet except for wanting to take another yoga class, so I'm using another workout sticker from Little Miss Papery. All right, so, oh, by the way, the Get Ready Makeup Compact is from Paper and Milk as well. So that is about it for this plan with me. I love seeing my week on two pages, and I'm actually going to use the leftovers for the following week. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you tomorrow for the next Planmas video. Bye!